Hello everybody, I hope you're having an amazing day and I would like to share with you guys an unboxing. This is coming from Blade HQ as you can see by the tape that they use. This is awesome, awesome tape by the way. A lot of cool, cool knives there for sure. Unboxing knife is going to be the Urban Supply EDC F5.5. Crazy, crazy little knife for sure. I fumbled there. <laughs> there you go. Alrighty, let's get into this. I have no freaking clue what's in here because um, I have like three different packages from Blade HQ on the way. They were, they were all ordered within a week and a half time span, so I don't really know what's in here. Um, but, oh, yes. Um, I'm surprised that this came first because this was actually the more recent purchase. Um, and it looks like, oh yeah. Anything else in here? Oh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's cool looking. Um, packing peanuts, knife life sticker. Love that. I love me some stickers. And plenty, plenty of wonderful packing material. That's great. All right, there's that guy. Let's get that out of the way. Let's start with the least interesting stuff first. Winchester shotgun, 12 gauge, little <laughs> nail nick kind of knife. Is this, is this a slip joint? <laughs> That's cool. Um, a lot, of, a lot of room here, for sure. <laughs> this is all wiggle room. All right, all right, cool, cool. Get a pretty good grip on that little guy. I have uh, large to extra large size hands with slimmer fingers, and this is, a, I would say, a three finger, three finger knife. Uh, clip point right there. I can confidently call that a clip point. Finger lands right there. I feel like I could do some decent little work with this thing. <laughs> um... Yeah, with all jokes aside, this is a little freebie knife that you get when uh, purchasing anything or orders that I believe are over a hundred bucks. Uh, wall supplies last, of course. And uh, yeah, this uh, cool, cool. The blade is not anything that's going to really be worth really talking about. Just stainless, that's cool. <laughs> huh? Is it Italy? Huh. Well, this is uh, a little embarrassing for, for Italy. <laughs> huh. Um, big old scratches and weird marks and stuff on there. Anyways, free knife. Can't really complain too much, as I was just complaining much about it. <laughs> um, this. Gerber, in my opinion, is... Walmart quality knife. It's right there with uh, Sog and Kirkshaw. Don't like them, but I did purchase this knife from Blade HQ because it was on sale. And this knife, not this exact model, but this knife was the knife that started my affinity for the hobby years and years and years ago. I will be uh, doing a little video on this. I'm not going to take it out of here. This is the para frame. Everybody and their mama and their dog and cousin has seen this. They know what it's about. They know it's just a throw around junk drawer knife. But uh, this thing has been around since I was well, well, like I was maybe like 12 or 13. I'm... 24 now so it's been around for a second and uh yeah this is what started it all so uh, yep there's that guy besides all that stuff this is the main part of the show here this is a knife that because of jared over there at neve's knives is the reason why uh i have a problem so not problem in a bad way, but like I have a spending problem with knives because of him. Um, he makes amazing content. I love the stuff he puts out. He's just an amazing individual, but he um, spoke so highly about this knife. I was just like, you know what? I really got to get that thing. 
um, and then they revised it, and he now claims it's one of his favorite concept knives, which is um, pretty impressive, I will say that. This did go on sale. Uh, original price is like 212 or something like that. This is the Concept Knives Convict. This is a sheep uh, sheepdog knives design, and this is going to be my first sheepdog's knives design knife. Uh, believe it or not, I don't even have a uh, what is it called? Just the sheepdog knife <laughs> that is oh so popular. I don't have one of those. I just uh, the couple times that I saw the variant that I wanted, it just wasn't obtainable for me at the time. It came and went, missed out. And then other things came about that were a little bit more impressive. Nothing really important in here, but I do like the little, nice little cloth there. Those cloths are smaller than the ones that you get with uh, Wii and Civivi, I think. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, they're smaller than that, nah, whatever. I really only keep the cloths that are from like the Wii and Civivi because they're actually substantial size. Ah, oh, yes. Blade HQ and their picture taking made this thing look a lot more green and vibrant. But look at how it shines in the light. I was hoping it was like this because um, I believe this was like the green anno. But um, I thought, you know what? There's a good chance that might be teal ish looking. And teal, one of my favorite colors. This is a. Uh, that's beautiful. Nice stone washing there. Finger oils and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, it has hints of green in there. That's cool. No blue standoff, so those are blue, blue, <laughs> for sure. And a gold or bronze thumb stud. Kind of weird with all the different colors. Kind of wish it was more cohesive. I'm not too sure if the hardware's titanium. I doubt it. This pocket clip is definitely titanium. Could have done without that there, but I guess it's a little accent piece. Anyway, let's just open this thing up. Oh yeah. <laughs> that feels nice. Zero, zero stick. Super smooth and perfectly centered. Beautiful. No jimping, which um, a little weird. But I get it, I guess. Comfy down here. Comfy up here. Uh, you get a little close to that. If you have thicker fingers, you might get bit by that. And I would say that uh, that's pretty straight. Um, another thing, too. Not the biggest fan of satin finish. This is a very, very fine satin finish. I think it looks awful and cheap as hell. Um, it's also on a, fl on a flat ground knife, fully flat ground knife. Ah, <sighs> but this could be modded. This definitely could be modded. Um, that's just my opinion on satin finish. I think, especially if it's like very fine satin finish, I think it just looks cheap. It will pick up scratches just by looking at it, unfortunately. But, huh, yeah, this thing is pretty nice relatively light and ridiculously smooth that is amazing now i've only had a couple other concept knives before on my channel and the other two are the um what are they called the the main street it's a dirk pickerton design um, I believe they're already out the door. I've sold them off. Except for the mini one, I think. Or I think somebody might have gotten that already. Off of uh, nafsale.com. That's where I sell a lot of my knives once I've decided that I'm not really going to be using them much anymore. Huh. I want to say I... Uh, I don't know what I was, you know, really expecting with this thing. I mean, it feels really nice. And I think it's going to be wonderful in use. Hmm. It's nice. I like it. Yeah.
See, that's nice. Do I have any paper on here? Uh, I have the, have this, <laughs> the manual that comes with it. Wonderful, wonderful. Cool, cool. Let's take a look at the edge. Looks very consistent. That tip looks like it shrinks down a little bit. Not too bad. Hmm. Yeah, I would say overall this thing is finished pretty well. S35 VN blade material. Can't complain about that. That's pretty good stuff. And yeah. Cool. Well, I will be linking this down in the description. Um, all this stuff and Blade HQ overall. Again, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And goodbye.